All right, hey everybody, Rob here again uh, with my seventh video. I've just been going through these records that were given to me. Uh, really interesting, cool stuff that you don't traditionally see uh, getting handed down. Uh, generally, when you're handed down records, it's like the usual shit, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, and that kind of thing. But I was given some really cool stuff here, so I've decided to make a series of videos about them, kind of chronicling what I've got, kind of listening to them a little bit here on the term table. Uh, so yeah, this is the seventh video and the seventh group of records. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, each of the uh, packs of records was tied together and they each have their own little note on the front. Uh, once again, I'll take a picture of the note uh, and put it in the description below the video. Uh, yeah, and if you want to hear the story of how I got all these records, that's in the first video. So you want to watch that first video to kind of get the whole story. Uh, anyway, so let's go through these here. John Mills Cock... John Mills Cockle is the first gentleman's record. Uh, a Third Testament is the name of the album. The little note here says seven and begin. Uh, and it just lists the records and it says now start again. So uh, I don't know if that's instructional, like maybe listen to these records again or listen to all of the records again that were in the crate. Um, but I'm fascinated by these little notes. Uh, so here's the John Mills Cockle album here. Give you a quick little taste. It's on True North. element of a lot of these. Again, not a whole lot of information on here. 1974, it says there. Very cool. Uh, so the next one, Andromeda Strain, uh, original electronic soundtrack. So this just looks amazing, both front and back. It says composed by Gil Millet, so perhaps another French gentleman. hexagons on the cover of both of these uh, and they're right back to back in the collection which is kind of cool don't know what that's about there's a hexagon on the artwork as well and a hexagon on the record so how about that very cool uh, I love cool stuff like that uh, this next one is Tonto's expanding headband the album is called zero time uh, I, I feel like I've heard of this one before uh, the real mystery here is how the hell you get the record out Drop the needle on this guy for a little bit. Do -do -do. The artwork here kind of reminds me of the uh, Question of Balance album by Moody Blues in that it's a big fold out. Very psychedelic looking. Uh, I don't see a year on this one. I, I'm certainly interested to hear more about this band. Embryo is the record label. Just really cool looking. Again, really spacey sound. So very cool there. Tonto's expanding, expanding headband. Love the band name. And I've seen this one before in record stores. Aphrodite's Child. Uh, I was noticing that this is uh, Vangelis, or Vangelis, however you pronounce the guy's name, uh, who I guess went on to later do Chariots of Fire. I'm not sure exactly the year of this one, but a cool looking record for sure. Thank you. 
sleeping the hell out of me. Anyway, I guess it's appropriate that it's called uh, uh, Number of the Beast, or I guess they have the 666 on the front. This is really weird. But I kind of love how weird and nuts it is. This is on Vertigo Records. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of the collection, the stuff that I got in the crate. Uh, so, really cool. I'm not too sure what, you know, ties all these things, all of these records together. I have no idea why certain ones were, uh, they had elastic bands around them and that they were tied. They've got notes uh, on each little group. Uh, so, help me figure this mystery out. Uh, anyway, I, I've kind of enjoyed doing this video series, so I think I'll maybe continue. Uh, do some uh, dumpster diving and maybe continue to bring you some videos about some cool shit that I find. Uh, but anyway, yeah, keep dropping me your uh, comments and send me some messages. Hit like on the video. And uh, I appreciate everybody uh, kind of embarking on this little journey through time here with me, looking at some of these awesome records from the 60s and 70s. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, this certainly isn't the end. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks again. And I'll leave you with a little bit of this weird shit before we leave. Thanks again.